well every so often here at Mythical Ireland I get excited about a new book or a new work. Um, you probably know that I read quite a lot and you've seen from the collection behind me that um, I'm a bit of a book bookworm. Anyway for uh, about four decades uh, Professor George Ogan undertook the excavation of Nauth which is one of the three uh, great monuments of the Brunabonia complex, a sister site of Newgrange and Douth, uh, beginning in the 1960s and lasting until the first decade of the 21st century. Um, I have the pleasure of having been on site uh, on a number of occasions uh, when Professor Ogan was excavating Nauth. Um, Anyway, I've just received today in the post my copy of um, George Ogan's uh, latest work in conjunction with Kerry Cleary, um, which is called The Passage Tomb Archaeology of the Great Mound at Nauth. And this is volume six of the Excavations at Nauth series. <laughs> it's an incredible tome. Look at the size of it. It's massive. And I have to pay tribute to Professor Ogan uh, on what is an extraordinary uh, work in terms of its comprehensiveness, uh, its scale, its detail, uh, its meticulous recollection of the years and indeed decades of work that were undertaken at Nauth. Interestingly, the first in the series was uh, George's original book uh, about Nauth, uh, which was published, Nauth and the Passage Tombs of Ireland, which was published in 1986, a copy of which I am lucky to have in my possession, signed by the great man himself on one of my visits to Nauth in the year 2000. Uh, anyway, I haven't had a chance to read as such uh, the latest work. I've only had a chance to look through it uh, very briefly tonight. All I can say is I'm really looking forward to getting the time to to reading it and to looking through it. Um, I suspect that's going to take a long time. Uh, I also suspect that a lot of information which was previously, previously unknown to me is going to be revealed in this uh, volume. So I'm, I'm, I'm really, really looking forward to getting stuck into it. Uh, I should also mention my good friend, uh, Ken Williams, whose photography um, is dotted throughout the volume and uh, who is praised by George Ogan in bringing aspects of the interior and the stones and the artefacts of Nauth to life. And uh, a great credit is due to Ken, whose photography is sublime absolutely beautiful uh, there's a three examples two in color and and, and one in 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 uh, black and white of ken's magnificent work um i really can't wait i just uh, <laughs> i've just been glancing through it here for the past 20 minutes and stopping on various sections and totally intrigued about um you know um the complexity of the site and the, sh the sheer amount of material from such uh, a, a range, a diverse range of per periods of history. Now, I know this de deals with uh, the, the passage to archaeology. So obviously it's concentrate concentrating on the uh, on the Neolithic aspect. And uh, I think a, a couple of the previous volumes dealt with the later his historical material. Um, I mean, I was just looking a few minutes ago at photographs of the reconstruction of one of the satellite mounds that took place in 1974, and I was thinking, that's the year in which I was born. <laughs> so, um, you know, these works, as I say, took place over a period of four decades. Um, one of the longest running and largest archaeological excavations undertaking, uh, undertaken probably on the whole planet in the past half century. Um, 
Anyway, if you're interested in obtaining your own copy, I bought mine directly from the publisher, uh, the Royal Irish Academy, uh, online. Uh, it cost me 50 euros. I think, personally, that that's going to be money very, very well spent. And so I suppose you have to understand from the average reader's point of view, if you want to read about the archaeology of Nauth, you're largely relying on a 1986 volume. Um, unless, of course, like the academics, you have access to all of the papers that have been published, uh, which isn't always easy for the ordinary reader. So this brings us, I suppose, right up to date with um, Nauth and, you know, everything from the artefacts, um, the pollen, the plant species, to um, a study of the stones and uh, dating of some of the burials, which I've briefly looked at. Uh, and indeed, um, that's interesting too, because I know that's something that people have said is, well, how do we know that the burials in the passage tombs uh, date to the time when they were constructed? Well, I think if you've any doubt about that, you should read this. Anyway, looking forward to getting stuck into it hoping that I can bring some of it to you, summarise some of its content. Um, I'm interested also in a section which deals with the alignment of the eastern and western passages at Nauth, um, in which it is stated that they are not aligned to the equinoxes, as has been long believed. Now, this is something uh, we have known about for a good long time, and indeed something I wrote about in Island of the Setting Sun in 2006 that indeed the passages are not aligned on the equinoxes at Nauth. However, this does not rule out uh, an astronomical or a cosmological function for the passages, which is something that I've explored in my work. Um, anyway, uh, all I can say is get your own copy. <laughs> in the meantime, it's going to take me a while uh, to to get stuck into this. I, as it happens, uh, also received another book today, uh, which is a reprint of an old work about uh, Celtic mythology by J.A. McCulloch. Uh, I think this is probably around a century old, originally published in, let me have a look, uh, 1918. Yeah, so uh, I'm looking forward to reading that at some stage, but between now and then, I'm currently writing a chapter uh, for a new anthology about the Dagda, uh, and that's about the cosmology of the mythology concerning Dagda and Brunabonia. So it's busy time here. It's a busy time here at Mythical Ireland. No rest for the wicked, as they say. In the meantime, if you haven't already received or bought your copy of my latest book, uh, Mythical Ireland, New Light in the Ancient Past, you can buy one online at mythicalireland.com or mythicalireland.ie. So keep tuned for further updates about George Ogan's new book.